Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark and I make a lot of video reviews, try and keep them clear and concise. And to do that, I've invested in a powerful PC. I've invested in Adobe Creative Cloud and that allows me to edit and publish my reviews. But what if you're just starting out and you don't want to invest in a powerful computer, but you do have an old laptop or old computer that you can use? Well, how about editing your videos in the cloud? Can you do this in the cloud? Well, this is what piqued my interest when I saw a deal on AppSumo for Flixia. This is a cloud-based video editor and it's what I've used to edit this entire review. So before we get started, don't forget to like this video, give it a subscribe and hit that notification bell. The little notification animation you've just seen has been added using Flixia. Let's take a look at the main interface. So you can see I've got a library up here. I've got both audio and video in my library. These are files I've uploaded. We have the stock image library for photos and video. We've got a stock audio library. Now I searched for Whoosh because I was interested to see if sound effects were included. And unfortunately they're not. So what you do get though is a lot of different music. So you can type in a genre and pull up some music and you can then preview it. So while Other Me is telling you all about the on-screen features, there's another really cool thing I want to tell you about. And that's, well, there's two things really. First one, this is a really old laptop. I mean, I've had this years. I've tried video editing on it before and it's just not powerful enough. That's not a problem. Now, if I use Flixia, I can go in and I can edit as if I'm editing on a much more powerful computer. But the second reason why there's two of me is because it's got Teams on board. So you can actually set up two or three, depending on what your plan is, extra team members to share and edit videos in the cloud. Now that's pretty incredible when you consider I'm reviewing this in the middle of a pandemic, lots of social distancing. If I wanted to work with a friend or colleague on a video, I don't need to worry about transferring large files anywhere. I upload them here and we edit them jointly on this platform. What's really interesting though is the owner can assign out the videos. So I can see one video, the video that we're working on at the moment, which is this review, but I can't see a few of the other test videos. So if you're thinking about assigning out someone to edit video one and someone to edit video two, they won't necessarily see each other's videos unless you give them permissions. Each user also has their own media library, so you can have a shared media library and a personal media library. And when you're all done, you can create a review link which you can send to clients or other people to check out the video before you publish it. The overlay section gives you some fancy motion graphics. These could be used as transitions if you wanted. So I've dragged it just onto this section here. And if I press play, animation you've just seen has been added using Flixia. Now that's just revealing to black. So if we just drag that this second file in, zoom in a little bit. And there you go. You do also have the option of traditional transitions. So we just cut that down bring in another bit of stock footage, then we can go transitions. You've got a wide variety. Just drag one of these on and you can see the little blue section as to where it will impact. So we might put it at the end there. And then you might want to ripple this one as well. So you've got the same style of transition. shorten that right down as well and it's very quick you see I'm, I'm only using a browser and yet it's pulling this together very quickly there's no lag when I'm pressing play it's playing it straight Impressively, away. Impressively the software comes with a screen recorder built in you can select what you want to record hit the button and you can either take a photo or record video it can also record audio so you can either record that separately or you can record it at the same time as you are filming whatever's on screen so earlier i used that function to capture the appsumo website at the start you saw this little animated text and also you can see 
I've got three things stacked here. First is text itself. So you've got a variety of options when it comes to text and this can be put just as a simple intro piece of text here or you could drag it over uh, like so and you could have the text over your video. That's fine. Because these are all transparent, I had to put um, a background in and I did that by just dragging a rectangular shape and then just turning it uh, white so you can change the shape colors. And then the bottom section is actually a sound effect. Now, sound effects aren't included in the audio library. I uploaded that separately. Um, hopefully they'll add them in at a later date. There's also the ability to use a green screen function, which is quite impressive for a website editor. So here I've got two pieces of just stock video for this demonstration. You can see this white and black inky one on top of the blue one. Clicking on the white one, green screen, and then you can pick the color directly like so. And if we turn that up, now the white has been taken out. It's probably a little bit too harsh given the some of the black has gone as well. Let's put that down a little bit like so. And so there you go. You can you can take out the background as long as it is a solid color. So this stacks up pretty well compared to desktop video editors. It's got a couple of areas that need improvement. For example, you can't see the audio under the track. I've been in touch with the developers and they've said that is on the roadmap. They know that that is a requirement and that will be released very soon. Also, I can't add and push video out the way. So normally I would drop it on and maybe hold control or alt or maybe shift, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't push things out the way at the moment. Again, though, these are the little minor things which are going to be, I'm sure, addressed in time as they get more users, more feedback and more time to develop it. The great thing about this being cloud software is that when your masterpiece is ready, you can export it directly to other cloud services. You come into the account settings, connected apps and connect your account. So whether it's YouTube, Google Drive, whatever else. And then when you head over to the export settings, you simply tick those that you want to export it to. Quick demo of exporting to YouTube. So if I just set the thumbnail again, let's just put it somewhere else. Uh, there we go. Set the thumbnail. Activate YouTube, we can add description and let's just put a stopwatch, export video, dashboard. Right, so let's see how long this takes. It reckoned about three minutes for a seven minute video. So there you go, just under the two minute mark, it, it had estimated three minutes. So that's pretty impressive. So if you want to learn more about this deal, I will put an affiliate link in the description below. Go check that out. It's currently available on AppSumo. If you're watching this after the deal's end, I will put a second link to the Flixio website. It's still a very good service, even if it's not on the deal, because it offers you a very powerful video editing and publishing platform without the need to invest in a power PC. So if you're currently struggling to edit videos on your computer and you want something that allows you to add all the extra graphics, collaborate with a friend via team logins, all that kind of stuff, and then publish direct to your chosen platform, this is definitely worth checking out. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.